quite yet. But that's that's the basics of the game. You you're the chosen one, blah blah blah. You're in dungeon, you chop things. That that's the tilted version of just everything I just said then. I'm quite happy with the frame rate that this is recording at. The Emperor until help arrives. Help, what makes you think help will get here before more of those bastards? We need to get the Emperor out of here. So yeah, assassins come again. Then they think you're one of the assassins. And if you're wearing the red cloak and stuff, they're still like, oh my god, he's not an assassin, even though you're wearing the assassin's clothing. So it looks a bit sus. Oh, so these people are incredibly powerful, yet they fail miserably for some awkward reason. Scripted deaths are always funny. Oh yes, and they think you're an assassin, as I said before. It looks like he's gonna chop you, which will probably two-shot you. Must help us. But it won't. They cannot understand why I trust you. Listen. Lucinogenic King. So anyway, this is when you start making the integral choices to your character. Uh, these are all the star signs you can pick. Your character gets a star sign, which either gives you, well, bonuses or abilities. They're all quite interesting. Na normally, you'd expect me to go with the warrior. The warrior has a strength and endurance boost. Very powerful. But I'm going to go with the lady. Because I want some, I want some willpower. Willpower helps you with your magicka, and as an orc, my magicka isn't too good, naturally, because they're not exactly too smart. S and she gives you endurance, which is very good as well. So, the sign. It it nope. helps. I reckon I should have gone with the lady. I'm happy with that choice. Uh, just a basic run through of the stats. I can't remember what they do exactly, so I'm gonna have a look myself. The strength add, how much fatigue you have, how much, how hard you hit things, and how much you can carry. You also notice that each skill governs a certain skill, but I think the skills govern the stats more because when you gain skills enough, you gain a level. When you gain a level, depending on how many skills you learn, you get a certain amount of stats. You choose three stats to level up. And when you gain that skill, you can get another stat in that. So, for example, if I level Blade two times, I can get plus two strength at a level. If I level it three times, I can get plus three strength at that level. Uh, it goes all the way up to plus five, which people abuse. I'm not going to abuse it, I'm just going to go with the flow. So that's the total Magicka. Good, I just noticed something. That's how fast you regenerate it. That's your agility. Well, that's important. It's not how much. That's not how fast you swing, but the fact that it says balance, that basically means enemies can knock you over less, and that's quite important because you, if you get knocked over, it's quite painful, particularly against unarmed opponents. Because the way unarmed works in this game is, you kill fatigue and then you kill health, and when you have no fatigue, you get knocked over. And when you have low agility and low fatigue, aversing an unarmed opponent, you might get up, swing once, then get knocked down again. And it can be like a frickin' 10 minute battle, simply because it doesn't do too much damage, but you're just on the ground the entire team time. Speed, how fast you move, endurance, how much health you have, obviously. I have a lot of endurance being an orc. Personality. Oh, I'm gonna get screwed over by the merchants. Normally in this game, it doesn't matter what you are, the merchants will be quite nice to you. But with Francesco's, they'll be selling things to me like at 30%. Well, I'll be selling things to them at 30% and they'll be selling their stuff for like 250%, particularly as an orc. Luck is nice, it just adds everything to your skill. Your base luck is 50. Which basically means zero to all skills. Lower luck than 50 means you lose some skills. Higher luck means you gain some skills. It also governs a few things in the game, relying on chance, well like when you bet on something. Also, they tell you to wield a torch. You don't have to. Torches are actually... I find them quite useless in this game. Possibly because my gamma is quite bright. 
And I like to jump around a lot in games. I like bunny hopping. I don't know why. Bunny hopping amuses me. The only problem with this is in Oblivion, bunny hopping wrecks your fatigue. Gives you more acrobatics, though. Which is a good thing. I reckon it's a good thing. Means you can jump more. And then you can bunny hop on water, which is freaking awesome, and I haven't seen it yet because, as I said earlier, I can never finish a game. Which I'm intending to do, I hope. Oh my god, the potion is too heavy! Ugh. This wee bottle of red liquid. Oh no, it's just enough to top for me. Regardless of the fact I'm carrying multiple weapons in my hammer space. Yeah. The Emperor is in danger. Of course, at this point in the game, you just let them do everything. Because those guys can kill you. If they do attack you, it's kind of good just to sit there and block. If you're a bit more confident, you can swing at them. But I think they're quite more powerful than you. I'm pretty sure they're more powerful than you, at least. The Emperor is in danger. So, I'm gonna keep the potions of healing because I'm not taking alchemy. And basically, whatever can heal you mid fight, very useful. So, you won't get to see me do too much at this point in the game. I'm just explaining a lot of stuff for now. There's a bit more action later when I start to go in the dungeons and I start to get horribly mauled by mountain lions, my mortal enemy. Now, I absolutely detest mountain lions because I've had a bad habit of them charging me, knocking me down, and then killing me. The thing is, they don't kill you while you're knocked down, they kill you when they knock you down because they, you're dead by then. Mountain lions are small trucks. Hold up. Yeah, they're just trucks. Let me take a look. They're trucks with legs that hit you. And it hurts. Which is quite unpleasant. I've had mage characters riding around on a horse. And you just hear Row! a little mountain lion. And um, at that point, I know I'm screwed because they're faster than the horse. I get knocked off the horse. Uh, which does half of my health and damage. Then it kills. Then he kills me. Even though I'm trying to run away. Simply because they attack really fast, and they always do... The thing about mountain lions is they always do this kind of attack. And they do it... They have a really long distance on it, so... You can't outrun them, you have to fight them. Which means my mage was utterly screwed. And then as my mage is dead, I get to watch my horse die. And this of course you have uh, a special horse. I won't ruin it for you because I'm not doing it in this game. But the horse is is considered a plot character. Now, plot characters in this game are immune to damage. When they die, they just get knocked unconscious. Now, this horse, if you leave it with something that's attacking it, because it can't get knocked unconscious, well, it just, just gets keep getting knocked unconscious whenever it runs out of health. If you leave it with anything, you run away, you rest for a couple of hours, you come back, that thing is dead. No matter what it is, that thing will be dead unless it has a lot of health. I can go no. Take the amulet. So basically, the king's saying, "Oh, I'm dying now. Uh, take this, which is an important plot device." And naturally, until now, the king tips absolutely no damage. Actually, this powerful than I think, or maybe it's just that one. It's it's really sus when a bloody invulnerable character dies instantaneously at a certain point in the game. Bad floor. Whoops. Oh yeah, this guy dies too. He has a nice katana. Which is worth nothing. You also notice that, if you ever notice, there's a fourth bar here. It looks like a heart. That is your weapon's endurance. So you need pair hammers or someone else to do it for you. Just get dick 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 dick. Your hammers break sometimes, only one broke there. We've... And now this guy's saying, oh, we need the amulet because angry demons come out of a portal if no one has... If a king's hair doesn't have the amulet. Naturally, there's a hidden king's hair that's a bastard because the king got a bit rowdy with some prostitutes. 